The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 40, 11, verse 14 to 15, uh, it says, and no one, no wonder Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. And uh, there are certain things that we do in our lives that um, at the surface level, they seem harmless, but they can be destroying us and um, leading us away from, from, from Christ and obeying his word. And um, there are five areas that I really just want to touch on as we go through this episode that I think you need to pay attention to and, and measure yourself according to what God's word says. So hi everyone, my name is Jamaf, your host, and welcome to Motivate to Inspire. So the first area I want to touch on is uh, bad associations. In Proverbs 13 verse 20, it says, uh, He who walks with wise men becomes wise, but the companion of fools uh, shall be destroyed. Uh, and then... 1 Corinthians 15.33 says, Evil company corrupts good morals. So what this really says is the people that you hang around, the associations that you have around you, they, whether you like it or not, they influence the direction of, of, of your life, your destiny. That's why you've heard the saying as well that says, uh, birds of a, of a feather, they flock together. So if you hang around wise people, you are bound to become wiser and wiser. If you hang around rich people, in one way or another, you know, you start adopting their habits, you start making good decisions that will help you become richer as an individual. If you hang around people that are always um, talking about people that um, entertain pornography, womanizing, that kind of stuff, in one form or another, you're also going to start gravitating towards that kind of lifestyle. So I think it's really important that you watch who your friends are, you know. And they really don't have to be many friends. You can even have like three, four key friends, people that you can call friends, friends. And they can help you direct, um, they can help direct you in the right way in your life. But also even in other areas, um, whether it's in your profession, whatever, find people that uh, are good at their jobs, who are performing at high levels. They'll help you as well to perform better in your, in your chosen area. So that's, that's the first thing. And then um, the music that you listen to as well. There's certain music that appears good on the surface, but in actuality, it can even be bad. This even applies, this especially applies to what we call Christian music or gospel music. And um, if, if you study music, um, you'll, you'll get to learn that it's not really just about the lyrics, but the intent of the, of the author of that music. Because there's different types uh, in terms of like the um, the type of music, whether it's um, things like hip hop, R and B, etc., etc. The the type of music that's composed in those different genres has a has a purpose, uh, has an intent that they want the the listener of that music to 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 do. So. I think, I think it's worth investigating. It's worth doing a bit more research about. But um, like I'm saying, even what you call Christian music can actually be devil worship without us even realizing it. Um, so don't take my word for it like what my pastor normally says. Just do your own research uh, and, and just check your own spirit as well and, and see if maybe you, are, you might not be going astray in that particular area. So yeah. That, that one is really an important area. I think just take some time to research about it and, and see if um, the music you're listening to um, needs to be altered or if it's, if it's okay. Okay, so all right. Then the next area is um, what I call fake news. So what we see on the TV or what we read in the newspapers, there's an agenda behind some of the things that um, people put forward in, across the media. And... Those, those things are trying to like break Christian values. They're also trying to inspire fear so that you are immobilized to do what, what the word of God says. And like I'm saying, these are things that are very subtle. On the surface level, they don't appear like um, the people that are sharing that are out to do you harm. It appears like they actually want to do good by you. Um, so even... When you hear headlines of um, the economy is um, getting into a depression, this and that, you've got all sorts of uh, things that are being told, do this, do this, do that. But then you find if you act out of act out of fear, you end up making foolish decisions and that will put you in a much bigger hole. So what's more important is getting rooted in the word of God. Whatever it is that the messages that you hear, 
from the outside world measure them against what the word of God says. So um, take take that time to to analyze the messages that you're receiving and, and see if maybe they are not leading you astray without you even realizing it. Uh, the next thing is fake education. Um, this one might sound controversial, but um, there's actually a, an attack against the education system. Uh, there's agendas that uh, want to keep people in the dark about certain things so that they really don't live up to their full potential and they're always left in the dark and being subjected to, to control. So it's another area where I'd want you to do further research uh, for yourself and look at the education that you are, you are receiving. Is it helping you uh, become more of what God created you to be? Is it helping you develop as a person? Is it helping you develop the skills? Are you able to add value in, in a particular area that you are in which you are, you are learning certain things about? Um, so I think this one might be like a discussion for your, uh, another day, but it's another area worth researching. Uh, there's some education. I think one of the biggest differences that I've seen, if you look at rich people, they receive a different education from those that are poor. And that is done by design um, with an agenda to keep the masses like under control, subjected to, 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 to massive control so that they never really fulfill their potential. And the few that want to benefit in life themselves, they keep other people in the dark. So I think just take the time to to analyze what are you learning? Is it helping you? Is it helping move you forward? Is it liberating you to become more of what Christ created you to be? Because we're not created to be in bondage. God created us to be free. Not free to then fall into sin again, but free to be then able to, to live out the purpose that he's created us to, to live for. Uh, then lastly, TV programming. Um... This one nowadays, it's now just so blunt. It used to be very subtle back in the days. But now you've got uh, messages um, promoting LGBT um, agenda, swearing, sex, and all these kinds of things. And especially for our young children, you know, when they're subjected to such things, they grow up thinking that it's normal. And that has to be moderated. TV in itself is not a bad thing, but it has to be moderated because a lot of the content and agendas that are being driven they are, are meant to destroy people and um yeah just destroy you in, in your life and what that does it eventually moves you away from from god so all these things i've shared i know they may sound controversial let me know in the comments below what your sentiments are what you think about this and you can have a further discussion about it but until next time may god bless you and uh, see you take care